Let's roll. I first started playing when I was six. Uh, I lived in South Africa. Everyone, that's like the main sport there. Lunchtime, everyone was kicking it, barefoot, playing. I mean, we would use two like big oak trees as a goal. But I mean, occasionally you'd stub your toe like in the dirt or something and it hurt. I feel like my feet should have been sore from doing it, but looking back, I think I was having so much fun that I didn't even think about it. Those were childhood memories that I don't think I'll ever forget. My dad really wanted me to play ball, but I wanted to play football, obviously, the other ball. I didn't really take it seriously until I moved to Canada when I was about like, uh, I'd say 10 or 11. Around like age 13, 14, I started getting invited to national team camps. I was getting scouted by the my previous club I was with, Whitecaps Academy. And I eventually joined their academy when I was 17 years old. That was a pretty exciting time for me because that's when I first was with like a pro environment, training with their first team going on preseason with them. So as a young guy, that was probably one of the highlights of my career so far. From there, COVID hit and uh, I decided to go to school just to get an education, keep pursuing my dreams while everything was kind of at a standstill. After school, I ended up at Charlotte, I skipped the draft and I came here and uh, now we're here. I mean, I think the biggest thing that I learned is just trust in the process. If you're focusing on the destination and not the journey, then you're really not gonna enjoy it in the end. And I think that from looking back at my time with Portland, the journey to get to where I am now was more exciting than like the actual deliverance of the, the work that I put. So I think that that's something that I can bring here to Charlotte, you know, just trusting the process and waiting for my, my time to make an impact because I know I can help this team do big things. Well, I mean, as a new guy, I feel like not too many people here know me, but I think that I think I'm a pretty fun guy to be around outside the pitch. I mean, I'm pretty uh, outgoing. I like to joke around. And yeah, that's me, really. I, I'm, I'm pretty serious on the pitch, but you'll see I'm pretty goofy on the pitch, too. I like to make jokes, get a little loose. I don't like to be uptight all the time, so it helps me to smile and, you know, enjoy the moment. I really like just like hanging out with friends, honestly, whatever, whatever that is. So going and getting food, gaming with the boys, whatever it is, just being with the boys and hanging out with people really helps me because I, I wouldn't say I'm an introvert, I'm the co complete opposite. So I just need social interaction, honestly. <laughs> Get it. Best piece of advice. I've ever been given, definitely enjoy the journey. I think that's one I take to heart. Probably get that one tatted too. Do you have any tattoos? I don't, but coming soon, coming soon for sure. Okay, so tell me the dream piece. Dream piece, I wanna get a Bible verse in writing on my uh, left pec and then full sleeve on the left arm for sure. It drives me a lot. I was brought up in a Christian home. I went to a Christian elementary and middle school, so God has always been a part of my life. And I definitely would not be here if I wasn't strong in my faith. So that's like a really important part of my life for sure. I think just becoming an important part of the team for me and uh, getting my foot in the door in MLS to you know, eventually become an established player in this league and at this team. I think that's really important for me and I think uh, in my rookie year, that's something that I'm gonna work hard to do because I know it's not gonna be easy. We got a lot of talented guys, but I'm up for the challenge. I'm a fighter, so I'm pretty excited to see what this year brings.